Hello there. I want to talk to you about an important question. If there were a God, what would they be like? And the reason why I want to talk to you about this is because obviously I, I believe in God. But what's the God that I believe in and what's the God that others don't believe in? Are they the same thing? And I would suggest that for many people they're not the same thing. Why am I saying that? Well, <clears throat> one of the phrases I've heard is the God of the Bible or the God of the Quran or whatever. Um, you know, it's the God that's encompassed, surrounded by the Bible, or, you know, described in the Bible. But however good the description in the Bible or the Quran, I mean, the Bible would be my book, however good that description is, it can only ever be a cut down version of what God's really like. Because if your God isn't bigger than the Bible, or bigger than the description of him in the Bible, then he can't be God. The very nature of God must surely be that he is the supreme being, the highest possible existence. And that cannot be described by mere human words. And so really, what, you know, what is this God going to be like? Is he good? Is he bad? What would he be like? And I just think logically, if you think about a God, not the God perhaps, but a God, well, that a God must answer to the God, or perhaps there's a, a chain of gods. But somewhere along the line, at the top, is going to be the God. And that's the one that I'm interested in talking to. I don't really want to talk to the other ones if there are other ones. But what's that being like? What are they like? Are they good? Well, I believe so. I believe that if there were a God who was ever so slightly bad, that the bad would take over. You've only got to see, you know, look, look around you really, and to see how that, that seems to be the way things go. And so in order for God to be good, sorry, in order for God to be God, he must be good. You might say, but there's an awful lot of bad in the world. Well, yes, there is, but that may not be down to him. He is his supreme authority, but there may be other things that, that he's done, like giving free will to various of his creatures. And that may be a problem. <laughs> it may be a problem that he's addressed, I believe, on the cross with the death of Jesus Christ. But the nature of God must be, first of all, bigger than any of us can conceive and also good. Now, I'd love for you to disagree with me and by all means comment below and, and tell me what you think. Um, but I've given this a lot of thought and so it's not a trivial statement I'm making. But I do think the one thing I see missing in, in both uh, atheistic arguments and theistic arguments is to accept that God is way bigger than any imagination that we have. And to say the God of the Bible is so limiting when in reality, it's the Bible of God.